Our brand new cycle of basic Spacelands is now available for purchase at www.itresolvesmtg.com. What's going on, guys? Welcome to part two with Jess, Kai, Luca. Uh, we are enjoying this one, uh, if I'm honest. It's a pretty crazy deck. Um, last, uh, last episode, if you didn't already see it, please go watch part one. Kind of go over the deck list a little bit more in detail uh, so you can kind of see what we're doing. If you haven't seen this deck yet... I, okay, also, frame rate issue. Sorry, guys. This keeps happening, and it's really frustrating, but it seems to be very dependent on the opponent, so that's why I keep conceding games. Obviously why we're still stuck at Platinum Tier 4, but uh, that way we're not um, watching really, really crappy frame rates this whole time. So let's let's try and get a new game squared up. Uh, but if you didn't check out part one, please do. You can see the, the deck list in a little bit more detail. We actually ended up against uh, another Jeskai Luka deck, which is not surprising, um, considering how much of the meta it is right now. Ugh, the frame rates are dropping here too. We may stick with this one just because we we can't keep conceding games uh, every single time, unfortunately. Uh, we'll try it. Um, but yeah, so this deck is sweet. It is everywhere right now. Uh, so you do have to be very, very aware of it. Um, man, the frame rates are so bad. I hate this. I hate that this is an issue. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm sorry, guys. I can't... I feel bad giving you so many frame rate issue uh, videos. I, I don't like doing that. Um, and it is very dependent. Like, I'm, I'm realizing it's it's very game dependent. So uh, we'll, we'll, we'll find a game. I promise. We'll find one. Uh but yeah, this deck, there's talks of banning um, and things like that going on. We'll see. I, I don't know. Um, but it certainly is a, is a potent one. All right. We just have to stick with it at this point because it's still happening, but we can't keep it, keep conceding too many games. Um, all right. We're just going to lean on Omen here and hope that we can draw some action in the early turns of the game. Uh, thankfully, we have this to lean on too. I like that. Just so we have all three mana, or colors, uh, at the beginning. Uh, if you're interested in picking up our space lands, guys, I know I've been talking about them a lot in every video. Um, I just want to make sure that you're aware if you want to purchase those, they are available right now. Uh, you can go pick those up at our online store at itresolvesmtg.com. Um, you can check it out. We would certainly appreciate it. Um, Fires is good. Shatter's also not bad, but this is a Luka deck. Um... I think that might mean we want to keep it, though. Yeah, we're going to keep it. This is a weird... Maybe this isn't a Luka deck. I don't know. This is Teamer. Um, just go ahead and play that out and leave up Omen. Prime rates are doing okay. They keep dipping a little bit every once in a while. Um... Perfect. Let's go ahead and omen again. Maybe this is a flash deck? I don't know what this deck is. This is interesting. Team or Luka could very easily be a thing. Um, I think we're going to do it like this. Uh, we kind of want this because, again, we're looking for a Luka. So, like, oh, well, and there you go. Uh, let's go ahead and do this. We'll play out fires, uh, and then we'll we'll do the thing. Um, we need double red. We've got double red. We've got double blue. We've got double white. Let's just go ahead and get a red then. Uh, let's do this. They may have a counter. Okay, they don't. Um, we'll just play this out. Uh, we do need a land before we can get to Luca, but assuming we get a land, we can start stealing stuff. Oh, okay. That's fine. I have to assume this is a Luka deck. Like, it's gotta be, right? I just haven't seen a teamer version yet. Be cool. I'm interested. Very interested. Uh, we played a Gruul Luka deck, which was like crazy all in. Um, it was super fun. Yes. You are amazing. Uh, I honestly think we steal their land. Um, let's take this. They can tap it first, but it doesn't matter. We've got fires. Uh, and that just lets us play Shark Typhoon, like, now. 
Um, and it keeps them off of... One, we get a scribe, but also it keeps them off of uh, playing their Luka if they can get to it. And assuming they have one. Um, I have to assume they do, so... Arrow, that is fine. Um, let's go ahead and scry with one of these guys. We can actually start to bounce some stuff to you here, uh, if we would like. I don't really care about either of those, to be honest. It's fine. Sorry for the frames, guys. Um, okay. Yeah, that's fine. Totally fine. We're about to cash in like crazy. Um, let's do this. Let's get another agent. We're about to steal another land. Alright, let's play Yorian. <laughs> um, bounce you, you, you. Yeah. Seems pretty good. Um... I guess we'll just play a fires because why not? <laughs> All right, there we go. We got the win. I was about to say at that point, we're gonna start drawing like crazy amounts of cards every turn and that kind of thing. That felt really good. Um, man, this deck is good. Holy crap! Uh, I know we're a little late to the party in playing it, so I apologize. But man, it is potent. This is very potent. Um, also, just wanted to kind of talk to you guys a little bit. Um, we are setting up. Uh, our Twitch account. We, we've we been a little bit slow on the streaming end of things. Mostly it's because we're I mean, we're both working full-time jobs. Um, I do a lot of the recording now, but Will is a, certainly a big part of all this. He just, he works a lot more and he also has a baby. Um, <laughs> uh, and so that makes it a little bit difficult, but um, we're both very much a part of this, but it takes, it takes a big effort. Um, and without knowing our schedules sometimes and like with with lives and families and things like that, it can get a little busy, uh, and that gets to be a bit difficult. Um, but we're certainly excited. We really do want to start like streaming and doing more in that realm, uh, so we can kind of interact with you guys live and not just via recorded videos. Uh, we kind of talked about it a while back as like, hey, this might be something we try, um, but we never really jumped on it too much. Um, I think now we're kind of pulling, not pulling the trigger by any means, but we're kind of getting that started. Uh, which I, I can honestly say I'm very, very thrilled for. Um, I think it's going to be a fun time. It'll be great to hang out with all you guys uh, in a live capacity, not just via, you know, this. Um, and so, and chat with you guys and like hang out. So please, uh, if you're not already, we don't have a lot and there's not a huge reason to as of right now, but uh, if you're interested in following us on Twitch, um, you know, we're still learning the ins and outs, but if you're interested in following us over there just so you can kind of get notified, please do. We'd really appreciate it. Uh, it would give us something to look forward to because obviously you'll get notified when we do go live. Um, and that way you can kind of keep tabs on us, uh, which we're thrilled about. So uh, I'm so happy we got that. Um, we'll have that inner tapped. We'll try for a fires again. The assumption is that this is going to get countered. Which sucks, but I'd rather that be countered than our Luka or our agent. Um, so that's fine. Let's burn through some counters. We do get to swing in here, which kind of sucks. We're not going to block, obviously. Um, okay. So the question becomes, do they have another counter? And the answer is probably yes, but... We're gonna try for it. I really doubt this lands. Be great if it did. We burned through two counters, but I really doubt this is gonna land. Ooh, okay. They call me a pariah because they fear my Yes, there we go. All right, um, let's just take this for now. That might actually be mis a misplay. We should probably just take a land. It doesn't sound very exciting, but like they can just bounce the cutthroat. You know what I'm saying? That's fine. We still get the trigger for the record. Uh, 
Um. Hmm. Let's throw this out there and see what they do. Okay. Let's try it. Let's try it. Get another agent. <laughs> uh, steal land. That's fine. That's completely fine. Um... I'm gonna swing in with the cutthroat. Not really a reason not to. Um, and now we just have a really great target for agent. Um, we can also just Yorian at some point uh, to bounce everything and get another play off of the agent. Um, at that point, we'll start to draw a bunch of guards, which is gonna be really nice. I'm also all too happy if they decide to attack in to just block this way. Okay, and they didn't. Let's do that. Um, should have, I, I missed. I could have just played the omen and I didn't. That was a mistake, but that's fine. Here they'll counter, yeah. And that's fine. Uh, let's plus up. Doesn't matter really what we hit. Um, I actually don't think we'll attack. Oh, nice. That's interesting. Very interesting. Really? Uh, we're just gonna block here. I kind of assume they've got something going on with that, otherwise they wouldn't have attacked. Like, that seems kinda... kinda fishy. Um, I kind of just want a shark typhoon. Uh, I'm gonna try it. Screw it. Let's go big, right? Cool. Uh, we'll plus up. That way we don't lose our Luca at any point. Um, we'll get to flash this in, which is gonna give us a token. I'm not gonna attack. <laughs> Okay, it's fine. What does this do again? Does it get like a token and then it... That's fine. We'll take the opportunity to play this out now. Just so we have a blocker. Since they can't counter right there, specifically. <clears throat> um hmm. I don't think we want that though. Um I don't know. We're gonna keep it just as a kind of oh crap button, if nothing else. Um because now we can like start to sacrifice our sharks to Luca, get another agent. Uh we do we only have three in the deck, so we do have to be very careful. Oh, okay. Well they're all in the graveyard. Um all right, so we're no longer on the Luca plan, in which case I'm just gonna block here. This can kill it, but we're gonna try and kill that sh uh, the wolf. If they've got a trick, they can play the trick. I don't really care. My isn't over yet. All right, play land. Hmm. I'm gonna play Shatter here. It's only a one for one. It's not very exciting, but we get to draw a card off of it. Um, let's see, Orion. I'm kind of assuming they don't have a counter anymore. And we'll just bounce the two omens here. Get a little extra value. Some extra little 1-1s, one, one, some life, and then a free card. Kind of playing a little loose, but I think it's working out okay. That's fine. We have the Elspeth Conquer stuff. That's why I don't really care about that. Oh. Uh, yeah, we want you. Great. 
That was fantastic. And now we're just overvaluing every single spell. Um, I'm going to block here. If they've got a trick, they can use their trick. I don't care. Oh, they just have another wolf. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. It's totally fine. Drop this. Nope. Might not be a bad one, but we don't really care. Let's do this. Get our shark. I appreciate the fighting effort. Um, Sorry, I'm late. I'll bounce this just so we can attack in. No, I am not making this up as I go. We're going to Elspeth Conqueror's death on this. Uh, we'll be able to get an agent of treachery back, which is going to be awesome. Or a Luka. I, I mean, agent seems way better at this point. Uh, Cool. And now we attack. For two. Woo! Killing it. Killing it, killing it. And now we've got just like a butt ton of value. Um, play castle. Now we have crazy numbers of blockers. We'll up that. We'll play Narset. All right, there we go. I was about to say at this point, like <laughs> they're pretty locked out. All right, uh, two more wins so far. Let's go for a third game and let's see how we do. Um, man, this deck is crazy good. It is very, very solid. Uh, let's jump in. I am loving this deck. It's, um, my thing is, like, it's pretty broken. I don't know how broken, to be honest, but it's pretty broken. This is best of one standard. This isn't best of three, so I'd be more apt to making a call there than I would be here. Um, sorry for the frame rates. We're going to try and power through. If it just gets absolutely terrible, which it kind of is right now, but um, this should be a quick game. Throw this out there. Um, uh, yeah, we do need lands. I mean, we're going to get tons of them, I guess, off of birth, but we'll have more than enough, I mean, but we'll try it. I hate bears, huh? That's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Um, yeah, let's birth a Molinas. Try and play quickly so you don't have to sit through terrible frame rates for a long, excessive period of time. Thankfully, this is an aggro deck, so either they're going to kill us really fast or we're going to outvalue them and they're going to hopefully concede pretty quickly. But we'll see. Um, these are very good against our, like, Teferi right now. Um, yeah. Unfortunately, we can't activate this because of these. But we do get it out. Um, interesting, interesting, interesting. Very cool. I haven't actually seen this in standard right now. Um, man, they are just a powerhouse aggro deck. That is sweet. Just gonna straight kill. Just gonna kill my boy Teferi like that. Um, I'm not gonna block. There's no point. You just let me know if you're up yeah, that was pretty good. Oh, shatter. <laughs> uh, we gonna kill everything. <laughs> that was real good. That was a two for like five or six, whatever it was. I don't remember how many five. And they are down to no cards in hand. Is that correct? Let's do this. I'm honestly just tempted to play out Yorian. Um, nah, let's Narset. I mean, they can attack in at Narset, and that's fine. But that's a good draw. Uh, next turn, we can Fires and then Shark Typhoon. That's a good card. That's fine. I don't love that, but that's fine. I kind of hope they just kill Narset, <laughs> to be honest. Um, yeah. Yeah. You are a mighty warrior. I can see All right. Ooh, another Shark Typhoon. Um, drop a few taps. We'll play out that. 
and we'll play out Shark Typhoon. So next, to, next turn, wow, I can speak. Um, we can Shark Typhoon again and then like Yorian or Agent and steal a thing. I mean, we got some options. So this is very much the turning point. Either they win or we're going to really start taking over. Uh, let's do this. Let's do this. And we're just going to take the general, I think. They can sacrifice these both, and that's fine. But they didn't, so that's good. Um, yeah. Next turn we can Yorian steal more stuff. So that seems good. I mean, my assumption at this point is like, okay, we're pretty much in a commanding position. I mean, they could do a lot, I'm sure, but we're getting value off of every little thing. But we just have to stay alive long enough, honestly. They do have a lot of aggro potential, which is pretty good. But we're going to double up on Yorians here. Um, we'll drop you. We'll drop you. Let's get another shark. Two sharks, excuse me. One's not enough. Do that. And we'll do this. Gonna just do these. Yep, there we go. Okay, that was... I, I tried to make that as quick as I could. Um, thankfully, we won it. Okay, so... Summary for this deck. Holy crap, is it good. Um, do I think it's ban worthy? Kind of. Like, it's really good. We did not win every single game. Uh, we lost one out of the six that we played. Um, technically we conceded a lot, but that was due to frame rate. Um, I don't know. That's pretty potent. What I'll say though, is I don't know that even, I mean, Luca is definitely a major part of why it's broken. I don't think it's the only reason it's broken. Um, whether that means that only one of those cards being out of the deck makes it a lot worse. I don't know. Maybe just Yorian's kind of broken. Um, Yorian being able to flash everything, like blink everything and get double activations out of your agents is like stupid good. The fact that Luca gets them out early in tandem with the Yorian blink is like why I think this is broken. So probably so. I think I, I don't know if they're going to ban anything. It's very, very good. I don't know what the percentages are right now. Um, normally, Will and I kind of try and stay on top of that for podcast reasons. We haven't really we tried actually to do a podcast it didn't work very well. Um, and so I, I just don't know what the percentages are. I'm interested to see. Um, because I think that really, really determines the final decision. But either way, this deck is sweet. It is super good. It is everywhere right now. If you're not playing on Arena, you, I mean, if you're playing it anywhere, I'm, I'm sure you're seeing it because I, I feel like it's hitting multiple formats. I'm not 100% sure, but that's my guess. Um, it's very good. It's very, very good. I feel like you could do some crazy stuff with it. So regardless, this was a fun video. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I really do. Uh, please make sure to subscribe. Make sure to check out our website at resolvesmtg.com if you want to pick up those lands and make sure to enter our Aquaria bundle giveaway. It's going on right now. This is our second Aquaria bundle giveaway. We're doing two. We've done two now. Uh, so that way we could get more stuff out to you guys. We really appreciate the support. So now seems like a good time to do it. So regardless, I do appreciate the, uh, the watching. Uh, and the support lately really do appreciate it. I'll see you in the next gameplay video.